so today we're just going to learn how well uh, the offline maps works from Google and from here maps here maps is a very good uh, example of uh, offline maps I think it's the complete offline uh, maps solution because you can download uh, the whole of the uh, country's map onto your device where Google you have to download particular area where you are traveling and then that way you can travel offline as well so first of all I just want to make sure uh, that there is no Wi-Fi connection there is no um, internet connection this phone does not have any sim card as you can see next to the uh, uh, signal bar there is a sim card uh, with the no sim card inside signal right so no sim card no wi-fi uh, completely offline i'll just show you google maps i have already downloaded the uh, offline area i have downloaded uh, because i'm going to manchester so i've downloaded manchester or bolton already downloaded there and on here on uh, here maps i'll show you that i have downloaded the maps of england so whole of the england's map downloaded so wherever i go i can use this offline so so it's all set on the left hand side google maps on the right hand side here maps we'll just put the address here in the search bar we'll just use the recently used addresses uh, manchester airport and then we'll do the same thing here with uh, here maps as well we'll just use the recently used addresses uh, which is again same thing so manchester airport from here is about uh, 22 miles and uh, let's just do start so i'm just going to start on here maps so here maps giving me about uh, 22 uh, miles uh, where google maps giving me 20 miles head southwest then turn left okay so here maps telling me to go right from here and google is telling me to go from left both are right and none of them are wrong it's just only two minutes difference it doesn't make that much difference so even if i go right it will be okay if i go left it's gonna be okay i'm just gonna go right and let's see how quickly google correct uh, its maps uh, sorry the directions the good thing now about turn right turn left i'm just gonna turn right google should correct uh, its direction yes after 500 quarter of a mile turn left, turn left. So as you can see here maps frozen <laughs> for some reason I'll have to just touch and then yeah it's now okay back to uh, its place and uh, I'm just gonna show you as you can see the speed limit of this road is 20 that's what it says on the here maps I'm going on 22 so it's just alerting me and at the end of the road turn left to red color so that's one of the very good feature on the here maps uh, on google offline maps you can get this thing now turn left after one mile at the roundabout take the first exit so as you can see the speed here is 30 and I'm approaching uh, speed cam and on Google Maps there is no speed cam alert on the here maps you can see the speed uh, speed cam alert already it's not a sound alert it's just a picture so you know uh, yeah, here maps So both giving me a notification of M61 motorway coming and uh, the visual display is quite... In a quarter of a mile, at the roundabout, take the first exit. Uh, proper uh, lane direction. It's got two lanes, so I need to stay on the... Uh, After 300 lane, yards, the at the roundabout, take, take the first exit. exit. So there is a lane guidance on Google Maps. At the round 
about take the first exit. Okay, so we're gonna take first exit on Google. Uh, sorry. Exit the roundabout. On uh, this roundabout. The visual representation of motorway, like joining from a normal road to a motorway, is better on uh, here maps. As you can see, it's just showing that you are you are gonna be join. Uh, motorway so you need to increase your speed after four miles keep right idea of comparing the offline maps both are really really good uh, Google Maps have got ability of offline and online so it is it's quite solid but when there is no internet connection you should download these uh, here maps onto your phone so it will be very useful in terms of uh, you know when you have uh, no internet connection exit is coming so here maps still telling me to stay on the motorway and uh, don't just take the exit this is the exit I'm gonna take Accurate. Uh, Google has noticed that I am slightly off the route and it's just uh, trying to correct me and put it back uh, put, put me back on the same uh, route so At the roundabout that's, that's take the second now, exit uh, the here maps have realized as well that I'm not on the route uh, what I supposed to take and it's just telling me to go back to main uh, main route I'm just gonna take the another uh, exit Exit the roundabout. After In a quarter of a mile, yards. turn right. At the moment, I have taken a route to my house. Uh, Google has suggested uh, another uh, route, which is uh, also uh, not bad at all. You can uh, easily go from that side as well. Both have a similar uh, kind of, uh, you know, a route. At the yeah. end of the road, turn, turn left. left. As you can see, the here maps. Uh, telling me to go left where the Google Maps is telling me to go right uh, from both sides I can uh, go to Manchester uh, it's quite turn right now turn left so I hope you like this comparison uh, if you like this video please uh, share it with your friends also hit the like button because if you press the like button uh, it just makes a big difference people uh, uh, gets after video one where, mile uh, turn left you know um, it will be highlighted by YouTube when uh, there's more likes on to our video so please uh, like this video share this video and thank you for watching I'll see you in, in a quarter one. of a mile turn right thank you very much after 800 yards turn right